The following video has met only the highest standards of mediocrity and has earned the Mono Shadow seal of approval. Welcome back to episode 2 of Ripping Off Others. TV Nunners! Excuse me. This is definitely not what you want to do. Eat two of these in one sitting. But I'm going to do it. Uh, because I'm an idiot. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Always uh, be sure to account for your ghetto sunbeam uh, microwave there, kids. <sighs> and just keep drinking. Keep drinking water, man. Keep, keep drinking. Keep drinking. It says a lot about you, what you do while you wait for your uh, TV dinner to finish cooking in your fucking Walmart microwave. My wife just corrected me. It's not Walmart. It's Target. Chewbacca, you wanna come over here and tell me, Daddy? His ears are back. He's hearing me. He's just fucking ignoring me. Probably a sign that he's been with me just long enough to know uh, that I don't, I don't do or say anything worth hearing. Significantly less sodium in this meal. Looks good, but the texture is off. Five meatballs with my spaghetti. The so most barbecue is pork, not beef. Well, yeah, but when when I think barbecue, I'm I'm thinking when I think especially backyard barbecue. We're talking backyard barbecue. I don't I don't cook a pig. I fry up burgers and hot dogs. Now hot dogs that's made of all kinds of animals, but burgers are beef. Yeah, but that's not really a barbecue, that's a cookout. Made from scratch. What does that even look like? What does it look like for it not to be made from scratch? You gotta start somewhere. All, all, all sauce is made from scratch. Uh, well, most places you just get it from the fucking marinara sauce root. That made no damn sense. More protein in this, at least by the end of this I'll have 30 grams of protein and uh, 83% I think of my, my daily sodium intake. It's gonna be from these two Buck 29 banquet dinners. Well, it's time for the star of the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's so scenic. There's a steam wafting up. I'm laughing that your whole family sitting here watching me eat this. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> I was like, I expect my friends and family to sit and watch me eat a TV dinner by myself. No, but I mean like, your family is literally sitting on the kitchen floor <laughs> watching you eat. Oh yeah, yeah, my, my family, my, my literal family, my wife and my two cats are sitting <laughs> on the kitchen floor watching me... Hi dad! <laughs> ...increase my blood pressure <laughs> with un, unreasonable amounts of sodium. That's not terrible marinara sauce. Tell you what, what I like to do is cut my meatballs in half, and it gives me the illusion of having twice as much pork, beef, and mechanically separated chicken, hi cat, <laughs> in my marinara food. What do you think you're doing? I got it. <laughs> the meatballs are good. People, I think people give banquet crap because they're used to eating not crap. I'm not. I grew up eating TV dinners. His wife has since spoiled him. Yeah. <laughs> With real food, like actually homemade lasagna and stuff. Keep, keep drinking. For the love of God, keep drinking. Where's my, ah, uh, it's all the way over there. Damn it. Banquet. <laughs> You know you can't afford anything else. That should, that should be the attack line. Banquet, eat this, you poor bastard. Ingredients. There it is. There's high fructose corn syrup. Worcester sauce? Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Yeah, Worcestershire. And anchovies. Oh, that's because there's anchovies in the Worcestershire sauce. Tamarind concentrate, cloves. Made in America comfort food with tamarind and Worcestershire sauce. Neither of those are, are American. Breader? I don't have a problem with breading, but what is breader? That made no damn sense. But it's tasty. I mean, shit. I could eat more of these if I weren't so damn worried about my blood pressure. You know that there are so few ingredients in that 
that they can afford to go all the way down to nutmeg. I just want to know, like, who fucking, who's eating this in their test kitchen and, like, like, sprinkles nutmeg and mix it in in the big old fucking kettle and the, with the drums going, the old lunch ladies going, whoa, 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 whoa. put nutmeg in it and they were like, yeah, that, that does it. That's what it needed. Got like a wayward onion once in a while there. To make sure you get your meatball. Covered in the marinara sauce. So. I'm I'm licking the fork. I don't I don't know why I did that. Hi you! It's gone. It's in daddy's tummy. How you feel about that? Alright, I'm about done. Hi, you wanna come up here? I think I got some sauce for you. I'm practicing for my little baby girl. That's what cats on my belly. <laughs> I'm trying to kill them with toxic gas. So that's banquet. That's 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 the banquet that I had today. Overall, would be, 10 out of 10, would banquet again. They're good if you're lazy and you just want something that, that tastes good. But wow. Uh, keep, keep drinking. Keep drinking. Hey guys, thanks for coming by, watching my gut inflate and my blood pressure increase. Uh, if you enjoyed this little series that I did, uh, it was inspired by Brutal Moose's uh, Brutal Food series. I really like his stuff. Dude's hilarious and it just looked like fun and it was. So leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. Thanks guys.